Hey, what is up guys? This is Peace Tutorials and I am your host Peter and today I have a Sony Vegas Pro 2013 tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you guys the best rendering settings to um, make your video appear 60 frames per second but you must have a device that is capable of 60 frames per second so stick around. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to Project Video Properties, click that and leave it as custom 1360 by 696 60 frames per second. And if your frame rate is not 60 frames per second over here, change to 60 frames per second. Then we click start on the project with these settings. So then your future projects can be these settings also. Then click OK. Then we go file, render as. Then uh, we're going to create a template for um, these settings. So the first thing you want to do here is go to um, main concept, AVC slash AAC. It runs MP4 AVC. So click that arrow and oops, click that arrow and go down to Internet HD 1080p. It's going to be right here. Then click Customize Template. So you can name the template whatever you want. You click name it YouTube Render Settings. It'll be easier to find it under your templates. Then frame size, leave it HD 1080p. Your frame rate change is 60 frames per second. And uncheck this because usually the frame rate changes as you upload it to YouTube or whatever. That's what some people say on YouTube. So then, um, yeah, you must click this enable pro progressive download. And uh, for the encode mode, if you have a CUDA available to check that, you go check GPU. I don't have a GPU available. So I click, uh, I click render using CPU only. So then we go to project. Uh, let's change the video rendering quality to good for best it takes really an hour or so to render it because i tried this a couple of days ago it took over an hour it was just a pain in the ass so just click good just for a quicker um, quick quicker render with the, with good quality so and just you leave uh, the 3d mode use project settings so click ok and render it just use your uh, template that you just created and click render if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. And uh, I'll try to stay active on this channel and bring you guys more tutorials. So stick around, guys. Thank you.